Bill Heath, the Gifted, two-time Mr. Olympia here over at Armour's Pro Gym. We are officially five days out from the 2013 Mr. Olympia contest. It is a Sunday, late afternoon, early evening. Got the guys from Battle for the Olympia here. They want to catch me doing some legs. It's my last leg workout. And uh, I would probably say it's going to be something intense, but um, you know, obviously the weights are going to be a little different. The, everybody knows, you know, you can't go too crazy around this time, but we're still going to have some fun. Still going to show you a lot of different angles and whatnot that I use. And uh, obviously the pounders just may not be the same as the off season or even uh, 12 weeks out. But but this is still something that I think you guys can use uh, for your own individual program, especially those guys that are getting into contest preparation. Um, weight is still pretty good. I'm still up uh, close to seven, eight pounds from last year around this time, so that's good. Uh, but uh, still got work to do, guys. Still got work to do. Still got to, um, you know, come in here and kill it. Then I got to come back and do cardio. And then I actually fly out to Vegas tomorrow, so I'm going to try to squeeze in another workout here. Try to stay at altitude as much as I can. And uh, all those guys that don't know about altitude, bring your ass here. It's crazy. So we're going to get to it. But um, hey, I just want to say thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting the sport. And uh, we'll catch you after a workout. Feel this year's prep is compared to last, last I mean, year. The first title of the fence was a little crazy, more mentally than physically. Um, this year has been crazy, but just in different ways. Um, but uh, I'd say it's going as planned. So uh, hopefully, I'll be able to bring it because I'm trying to. Uh, obviously win again. I know everybody, everyone, everyone wants to win. And uh, you know, I've had a lot of good support, you know, sponsors, fans, family, friends. Um, so that helps out a ton. But uh, I think once you're, once you become Mr. Olympia, first title defense is the hardest because you don't want to be one hit wonder. Especially when you're you're winning it early in your career, like me, you want to think of how many you can win. Um, but each year you have to focus on just that year. So first title defenses, you don't sleep. This one I sleep, but uh, so I got to do the work.
Gotta do that. different than others. I like to talk way too much, even during a prep. It's just my way of handling the stress, I guess. In between sets, I can have this type of attitude, but when I'm doing the reps, it's no talk. Everybody liked that, uh, that shoulder press last year. You're like, nope, nope, huh, nope, nope. 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 They, they thought they were getting that title, man. Yeah, they, they like to talk that shit. They're talking to a former basketball player. We're the best at that. <laughs> That's why in bodybuilding they'll be like, oh, Phil's arrogant, this mess. Like, nah, you guys started talking shit. I just learned how to finish it. good too but I want to really be able to target these quads today doing a lot of glute work obviously with cardio with step mill doing butt blaster doing all that stuff and I'll be doing some of that today too but I really want to get on that Smith today now my mind's going <laughs> what are you thinking Thinking of a hat trick, man. I know that these guys want it bad. How bad? I guess we'll see on stage. For me, I read my horoscope today and it basically said that Sagittarius is like myself. Would rather prove things with their actions, not their words. I don't think I've been able to do that. Two. So, well, you're, you're pulling Jay back up on stage and making Kai out to bust us. I mean, you're obviously you're, you're making these guys really. I know that I know that these guys. I'm I'm requiring their best effort, and that's a true honor and a privilege from a like a warrior spirit mentality, knowing that they know who I am and they know that. They can't half step. These guys are already champions. I mean, they've both have beaten me at some point, but they also recognize my work ethic, whether they want to admit it or not. But uh, it's, it goes to show that when you're Mr. Olympia, you definitely require everyone's best punch. And you just have to be able to stand there and take it on the chin and then hit them back. So we gotta hit these weights first.
make decisions. Man, I felt nice and controlled. Can I do four? Yeah. But it's good to have a friend here who's seen you train for years. I mean, our owner, Dylan Armbrust, good friend of mine, and I was like, ah, oh, decisions, right? You know, it's like, he's like, ah, oh, maybe a quarter. I was like, yeah, you're probably right. That whole ego check sucks. Because you're thinking, am I doing enough to win? And it's like, if you're waiting until five days out from the Olympia to grow some legs, you're in deep shit. But then again, you know, the competitiveness, the drive, you know, your determination and, and just really not trying to be a punk. You have to realize, like, what's, what's, what's most important right now. What's most important is to find that even balance, intensity, with proper weight to stimulate the muscle without getting hurt. I don't want to be limping on that stage. So, we're gonna crank this one out. And then we'll have another chat. <laughs> Then we'll figure out if I want to go up or not. <laughs>
him. Fucking crying and everything and lifting that shit. Come on. Come It's always cool competing in Vegas because it's only like maybe 2,000. But it's higher for everyone else because they're on sea level. Maybe that's why they breathe so hard. And I'm not. And I'm pounding my chest and I'm acting a fool on stage. Man. Can't wait for this fucking show. Everybody wants a piece. Everybody wants a piece. Uh, yeah,
because I know that the end is near. It's only a year ago since I seen you guys. A lot has changed. But hopefully, a lot will stay the same come Saturday night, Olympia. A couple new names, a couple old names getting thrown in the mix. It will by far be the greatest Mr. Olympia of all time. I think that's why I smile a lot. Because I know that I'm being a part of history. I mean, if I take this opportunity, train hard, do my job. The 49th Mr. Olympia champion will probably go down in history as one of the greatest Mr. Olympias. Because you're going against three Mr. Olympias and four multi-winner Arnold Classic champions at the same time. Me, Jay Cutler, Dexter Jackson, Mr. Olympia. Those two, including Kai Green and Branch Warren, have all collectively won. Let's see what my math serves me. Three, two, seven, 11 Arnold Classic titles. So, and then everybody else has won something too, so that's pretty interesting. I just got bumped off a machine, so I'm gonna go do some more quads.
was the king, so like I said, need to train hard, eat a ton of food this week with no water. Gross. Legs are toast. <laughs> and that sounds like rain. We've been having a lot of crazy weather here. We've been having a lot of floods here, actually. So shout out to all the folks over in Boulder County that have gone through all these floods. It's been terrible. Um, but Coloradans are very resilient. But hopefully they can get through this craziness. It's been raining here like mad but um five days out 2013 mr olympia i am the 13th mr olympia so i would consider this being the year of the gift but um that definitely couldn't be possible without you guys' support so i definitely thank each and every one of you for purchasing this dvd supporting the sport of bodybuilding and its athletes um shout out obviously to team muscle tech Team Weeder AMI, um, obviously my family, friends, fans. Uh, collectively, you guys make a lot of things possible. Um, but I would say the, the continuing support of each and every one of you makes it that much more fun. And I think that's why I'm usually so talkative, so uh, outgoing. Um, and I'm always smiling primarily because I'm living the dream. Um, and I'm trying to show you guys part of this dream and giving you guys a different perspective, showing that uh, if you train hard, you train smart, you can always have fun. Um, bodybuilding doesn't always have to be, um, how do I say, very negative, very in the dungeon. Um, you can always be hardcore. You can always, it's just hardcore as a mindset. Uh, you know, the intensity is a mindset. Um, obviously, the weights have to go up and go down, but they have to go up and down for a purpose. And uh, I think each and every one of you should have fun while you're in this gym. I mean, this is a perfect place to, to help release whatever emotional stress you may have. Whether it be a good day or a bad day, those weights will definitely help you. And they've definitely helped me in my pursuit of perfection. Obviously, I'm always going to be chasing that. And... Um, I have a lot of people to thank, including those athletes that are along with this video. Um, each and every one of you guys push me to be better each day. Um, I know that you guys may think that I don't like you. You think that I hate you. I respect each and every one of your hard work and I'm definitely um, excited for you guys because, hey, we're, we're all doing it, right? We're all making it happen. We're all bodybuilders were pros were being able to inspire many many people that will never even shake our hands and many people that do so shout out to you guys as well but other than that when it comes to game day it's on guys it's on and cracking and you guys know that and i hope that uh, you guys are ready because i'm sure going to be ready too and i'm very very excited to go for number three um i definitely feel like I've done the necessary adjustments and made the improvements over the last offseason, including the pre-contest, to make that possible. Obviously, it's up to the judges. And uh, Lord willing, I can get my third sand down and uh, make all these dreams a reality, make them all come to fruition. So I got to get out of here. So I'll see you in Vegas. It is... 6 p.m. So we've been here for a couple hours now. So until next time, it's the gift 13th Mr. Olympia going on the hat trick. Three Pete, Heath Pete.
See ya. Uh.